my gosh, you guys, it's pouring down rain right, right now. <laughs> Blue game and redneck coming in last. Did you get it's wet? Raining. Oh my goodness. Here, let's put your mask on. All right, you guys, we are here in Dania Beach at the Bass Pro. We're here because we're picking out Luke a toy because he got student of the month. And then we're gonna go try to catch some peacock bass. You guys ready? We were born ready. Jeez. Only in South Florida, it'll pour down rain like a hurricane for about two minutes and then it'll be bright and sunny. What's wrong with that kid? Luke, you ready? Yes. All right. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Look at the walls up here. You guys, Bass Pro is like Disney World to us. He got wet. <laughs> yeah. Can we trade him for anything in the store? What, you need a dry puppy dog? <laughs> yeah, maybe anything, it don't matter. Fishing pole. <laughs> We're not trading redneck for anything. All right, my goal is to not spend as much money as I probably will in here. Luke, you ready to pick out a toy? Wait. Better walk backwards. That's going to be Watch where you're going, Luke. Watch. Luke, I'm digging your shorts. The good old blue game shorts. Yeah. Except he's, you he's, got He saw those on my channel and he ordered them. <laughs> we need to get Luke backwards. some shoes. Why is there so much traffic? There's turkey tracks, Luke. Look. Luke, what toy are you going to get? I don't know. There's so many toys here. Oh my goodness, decisions. The life decisions of a five-year-old. Flame have batteries. I don't know, but look at the moose. That's a cool toy. Look, uh, you're like alfalfa over here. Look, you should pick me something out for you being good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, did I get, can I pick out two things? Mm. One thing. One. But can, can I get one? No, if you're good next month, then you can get something else. Okay. So Luke just made the decision. Are you going to show everyone what you're deciding on? Final answer, this is what you're getting? Luke, I knew you'd one day, get that one. One day we're going to do a flying moose hunt in Alaska, and you're going to come with us, and that's exactly what we're going to use to do it. Say what? A boat? Yeah, and an airplane and, and a four-wheeler. I didn't even see that boat in there. All right, Luke picked out his toy. Now I'm going to pick out mine. I'm, I want to get a squirrel feeder. When were you good? I was good this whole week because you remember those two awesome videos I just filmed for you? Uh-huh. That turkey hunt and the Neil guy hunt. Let me tell you about them videos. That Neil guy hunt was probably one of the most stressful hunts I've been on so far. But we got it done. Now look at the selection. All right, I picked out my feeder. This is for birds and squirrels, and we're gonna hang it up in the backyard because we got a lot of squirrels out there. Redneck looks thrilled. What about me though? Where's my toy? I'm sorry, say that again? Where's my toy? Your toy? Yeah. I don't know, you gotta pick one. I'm trying to, do you not want those or are they too small, too big? And of course we are getting Luke some shoes because he is barefoot. And as always, I found this super cute dress that I had to get. Gabe's probably gonna yell at me, but you know what? If I see something I love, I get it. Because if I don't get it, then I go back to see if I can find it and it's never there. So I've learned that if I find something, I get it. <laughs> They're looking at the fish tank right now, which I have to find, which is right here. Up there in central Florida. Oh, we, oh, we live right there. 
Good thing we're going south. We're avoiding the rain and the storms just to go fishing. Before we check out, I do want to grab a couple baits. I'm going to grab one of these. Usually they do pretty good. And a whopper plopper, which I love using those because they're super easy. You throw them out there, you reel it in, and usually they get whacked. Do not show YouTube my secrets. I already told him I want to get a whopper plopper. Yeah, but this is a chopper. <laughs> it's a chopper. Also going to grab this one as well because peacocks eat peacocks. And this looks like a peacock. The colors anyway. And tender 10% 10 off. That's a good one because it's a short, fat one. Yes, I love whopper ploppers. Dang. Well, we don't have much of a selection on the whopper ploppers. It looks like they're on sale and people know they work. I don't know. It looks like a hybrid. It's yeah. real faded though. Y'all check out Blue Gabe's turkey video that we just filmed in Texas this past week. We got so much footage of those turkeys. It was incredible. Unfortunately, I didn't get a turkey in Texas, but that's because they were just being really spooky. So it is what it is, but we're gonna head to Kentucky next week and hopefully get me a turkey. Show them some just oh, some yeah. straight up Rio goblin. You guys, when we were on the hunt for his meal guy in Texas, there was thousands of turkeys, like everywhere. I don't even know what they do with all these turkeys. Oh, check out this footage right now. We film so much. They're almost like pet backyard turkeys and they feed them every day. Oh my gosh, where's my shotgun? Wait, sit still for a minute. Son, that's nice. It's made for water. It's got these things right here. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, this water is cold. We're gonna hook him just right in the nose. Nope, oh, oh, he's feisty. I'm glad I'm not a shiner. Yeah, me too. Luke, get up here. Oh. Stay over here and keep that fish. Don't let the big one get it. We got the, we got the smaller one. <laughs> Run down there and turn him loose down the bank. I Luke, stay up here. We don't want to scare that other big one. Hold on. Come on. That's a good one, Kelly. He is. Yeah. His skin kind of looks like a wanna skin. Are some strong fish. Look at that beautiful hook set right there. Those fish know what to do. Yeah, they do. They what? They know what to do. They get away. They walk. Gosh. Peacock bass are some of the strongest fish, let me tell you. This wasn't the one we were actually going for. This one swam up the last minute and ate my bait because the other one wasn't eating. So we're going to release this one down the bank a little bit and try to catch the one that we were hoping to catch. He's fired up. Come on. Come here. Right here is fine. All right, little guy. Woo! All right, let's go try to get that bad boy over there.
Yeah, big one. That was a big one. Look at the trash, though. People litter a lot. Why do they litter for? Because they think that it's cool doing that. What should they do with their trash? Put it in the garbage can. That's a fact. But did you get the hook set where I smashed myself in the face of the rod? Yeah. That was a big one, too. Dang. That is so large. I thought you said largemouth. It was a peacock? Yeah. When, when, you, when people say bass, I think a largemouth. When people say peacock, I think a peacock bass. Well, let's see. What were we fishing for? Peacock bass. That's right. All right, let's. You think he'll bite again? Nope. He might, no? Well, I can either try one more time or we can go somewhere else. What do you think? We can try a new spot. All right, let's go to a new spot then. Blue Gabe is gonna try to fish in the muck right now. There's so much trash down here in the canals, it's insane. It makes me sick to my stomach. I just, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Looks like he caught some grass. The wind. Oh, he's there. He's there still? Oh. Blue Gabe just hooked into a smaller peacock bass right where I hooked into that giant one that unfortunately got off. I went to set the hook and set it maybe a split second too early. It hooked halfway into him, but I think they're so strong they, they'll flip that hook right out. I hit my face while doing so. But he just got a smaller peacock, just nailed the jig he had. <laughs> All right, let's see if he can get one. Let him eat it. Get it now. Let's see what you got. Bring your, bring your rod and a shiner and come here. All right. Bring the camera. All right, I'm gonna go get a shiner and the other rod and see if we can't catch into this other fish. Look, come here. Yes, I'm gonna get it. All right, Kelly, you see that white bag? Yeah. Drop it in between the white bag and that culvert and that little hole the jig just opened up. Twitching just a hair. Oh, oh, oh. He's staring at it. Look at he's blowing it with his mouth. Come on. I need to open a hole with you for you with the jig. This could be a cool thumbnail with all the trash. Hold on. This is the bad boy that I lost earlier. Look at that. That's a that's a big peacock for right here in these canals. Beautiful. Here, let's ooh, let's go over there and release him. Yeah. Look what happened! Yeah. I dipped the old jig in there. Come on, run to Kelly. Look, what do you think? That's a nice one. 
Guys, these fish are so strong and so slippery. I just gave him some water and we took a quick thumbnail. Now we're gonna release him. I wanna release him. I don't know, you might slip and fall. Yeah, Luke, we don't wanna get your new shoes wet, Luke. You're gonna, you'll catch one in just a minute. All right, you ready? Yeah. It he looked like that. a what? It looked like a koi because koi have bumps on their back and that was just like a koi. I can't believe the male fell off. I was going to come running over with one. Dude, that fish gave me a run for my money. Look at the big one right here swimming by you though. Hello. That's... Barely even spooks. There's... I tell you what, these fish in these canals right here though are so used to people just walking up fishing. so. That's, really, that's not the one you just caught. No, it's not. They're really not like the fish in this particular canal and ones around here because there's so many people. They're so used to them. Another fish, if they saw you walking up or heard you heard the vibrations in the ground, if you walking toward the water, they'd spook. But then again, they do have their beds right next to the canals too, and they don't want to leave their beds for nothing. I say we go find a new spot and try to let let Luke catch one. Yours just met up with another one right over there and just swimming along. He probably just told the other peacock, like, bro, bro, don't eat anything right now. Whew. This is how you know summer is coming. Look what we're about to face right now. Mm. Good thing for frog togs. Oh, you mean the frog togs that yeah. we don't have? They're at the house. At I, least they're keeping the closet dry. Yeah, I literally grabbed my frog tog jacket and I was like, it's really sunny and hot outside. I ain't gonna need it. Yep. Nine times out of ten, when I need my rain gear, I don't have it. Always. It's always like that. We bring our rain gear religiously everywhere. When it rains, we ain't got it. I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna get hit with that little tiny peninsula thing sticking out there. We're gonna have about 20 minutes to fish and then we might get pummeled with rain. So we'll see how it goes. I am sorry, but it's going to rain really bad and there's a lot of cars. So just stay in the car. Just stay. Just stay. It is about to get real snotty out here in a minute. We're going to try to let Luke catch a fish real quick. Luke, you got your boat in case it floods out here? Yeah. I thought he was going for a fish, but he's going for an iguana. Hold on, Luke. He's... Oh. He can hurt you. Here, you, you want... Oh. You want me to grab him? I'll grab him. I'll grab him. Hold on. Hold on, Luke. He's going to tail whip you. Get down there and help her, Luke. Luke, get over, over there next here. to Kelly. It's raining. Hurry, hurry. Woo. And here comes the weather, guys. Let's go. Great. But as Jake would always say, it's definitely time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. We'll see you on the truck. Ooh, hands are burning. What about your finger? My finger? Your peacock bass finger. Oh, my whole side of my hand. It's my whole thumb's raw. This is raw. My skin's peeling up right here. <laughs> what next? Well, it's the weather's terrible, so we can either use some worms and try to get Luke a fish, or we can go to Beverly's and check out the pet store, and Luke can see some groundhogs. What do you think? What are groundhogs? Beverly's. Beverly's. All right, let's go to the pet store. Hey, Luke, you want to go to the pet store? Oh, we can get a aquarium for him. Oh, maybe. Because I was just thinking about that. Okay, well, let's go to the pet store. Wait, these are koi's right here. These are koi's? I like that one right there. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think those are some types of koi's. Oh, these ones right here are the same. Mm -hmm. 
Babe, we found your perfect pet. I know, I see it. Yeah, Arachnophobia. Now that you could put it in her pillowcase. Yeah, but what if it? But what if I put it on her face in the morning, and when she wakes up, she's gonna scream? Yeah, that sounds funny. You know, I clean your closet, make breakfast, cookies. I think your pillowcase would be funnier because when she's sleeping, it'll crawl right up her face. <laughs> Look at his eyes are lighting up right now. Thanks for giving me idea, Gabe. That's because. Can we go get Dairy Queen now? Yes. Spider! There's a spider up there. Oh my! Oh no! I'm dead. Here, babe, I got you a surprise. <laughs> Dairy Queen, it is. Let's roll. Ice cream date. Yep. Let's go. You, you, I could have bought you some sunflower seeds at the gas station. I know, but this is a nice little mixture. This is gonna go to the squirrels on my little uh, picnic bench that I'm gonna hang up on the tree outside. Oh, those aren't for you? No. Oh. I wish the, like, the GoPro doesn't even do justice right now. But do you think it does justice on this right here? That cookie though? Mm -hmm. Hey, that's my cookie. Well, he got to it first. Can we talk about my hat first? Yeah. <laughs> Blue Gabe's hat is his makeup. <laughs> yeah, literally. He can't do, go anywhere, film anything without his hat. All right, you guys. So before I close out this video, I want to show you guys the hogs that we saw while we were turkey hunting back in Texas, probably about four days ago. Now, me and Blue Gabe, we were sitting about a quarter mile apart from each other and he texts me and he's like, Kelly, there's a bunch of hogs coming your way. Right? That's how it went down? I don't know if it was in that slang. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I'm sitting, we're gonna show you this footage. Where I'm sitting and where you see the big hog, that big hog is standing where we were sitting when we actually shot the turkey in my video. The hogs were in between Kelly and I. I texted her and said, there's a huge herd of hogs coming your way. And then they popped out on her. But it was a different group of hogs it was so i filmed the hogs with my camera my really good zoom camera and i saw a big one coming and first i thought it was a turkey because my mind's like turkey turkey and i'm like oh i saw this thing moving i'm like oh my god it's a turkey and it was a hog so i was like all right whatever like i'll film the hogs one goes by two goes by three four five six i counted 25 hogs it was insane it was it was the biggest group of hogs i've ever seen on this property here so they come trotting along they turn, hit the dirt road, and they're coming towards me right now. Check it out. Oh my god, look at them all. <gasps> they're coming towards me. Holy smokes. So after I filmed those hogs, I sent Gabe the video on my phone and I was like, I just saw him and Gabe's like, oh no, that wasn't the same group of hogs. That was a much bigger group of hogs. So even though I didn't kill my turkey, I was still super excited because I saw a bunch of wildlife. And every time I see wildlife or like hogs just walk right up in front of me, like it's always a win-win in my book. The next morning, it was super dark. It was like 6.20 in the morning and there was a bunch of herd of little baby hogs. I mean, there was like <laughs> 20. There was like 20, 20 or 25, just strictly baby hogs like in the middle of the road. Eight pounders. Yes, they were so little. I think I got some footage of them. I don't know if you can see them that well. It was really dark, but the headlight from the side by side, you can see them pretty well. They were so cute. It was the morning we killed the turkey. It was the morning we you killed the turkey mm -hmm. and that was some delicious turkey what did he make uh fajitas out of the turkey breast he actually ended Eric? up just grilling it he didn't do anything other than just grill it we ate it all before we could make fajitas out of it oh okay but we kept getting sidetracked 
because the stupid yard turkeys that are completely wild turkeys that roost in this guy's yard and oh. we had we struggled with the turkeys you guys we struggled every time we would go somewhere where we could kill them they weren't there then we would go somewhere where we can't kill them and they were everywhere yeah so basically we might go back to texas before the season ends to get my rio turkey but until then we're gonna go to kentucky and nebraska and kentucky is the eastern turkey yep okay kentucky for the eastern turkey and then nebraska for the merriam and then we're gonna go back to oklahoma for the rio not texas oh oklahoma, oklahoma. okay scratch that oklahoma so Thanks for watching this video guys. I know it's been kind of all over the place. We're trying to make a really cool peacock bass video, but the weather got the best of us like always living here in South Florida. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit a thumbs up on the video. Thumbs up mean a lot to me guys. Check out Blue Gabe's video with his turkey hunt and his amazing Neil guide hunt. I didn't even know these animals and Neil guy was even a real creature. <laughs> Pretty insane. So until then, I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.